<laughs> Mega holding is soaring upwards. Hanif, where are you, Hanif? Yes, Mr. Warit, you called for me? Yeah. Hanif, what is my schedule for today? For today, you have you have a meeting with Mr. Ma. I see. What about tomorrow? Tomorrow, you have a meeting with Mr. Haika. Ah. What about on Monday? On Monday, one moment. You have dinner with both Mr. Ma and Mr. Haika. Oh, wonderful. So let's not waste our time. Let's go to the next meeting. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, everyone. I hope you are doing well at home. You are now watching d -Date TV KPM. My name is Hanif Sean. I don't have a name for this unicorn yet, so maybe along the way you can help me give a name to this unicorn. We are now watching level one slot, and the subject is Literacy Bahasa Inggris Tahun Tiga or English Literacy for Year Three. And we have seen our teacher, and of course, his name is Mr. Warit. And how are you, Mr. Warit? I'm doing fine, thank you, Hanif. Thank you. How about you, Hanif? I'm doing good as good, well, good, and good. I'm sure the pupils at home, we're all very excited to know what are we going to learn together today. All right, uh, everyone at home, pupils at home, today we're going to learn to read and understand sentences that contain words such as sometimes, never, and always. Sometimes, never, and always. And sometimes on the show, we have pupils joining us online. Yeah, and let's not waste our time and introduce them. Yes, Let's please. welcome and our friends on Google Meet. Can you wave at us, the four of you? Hi. Wave at us here, right. If you can help us to introduce yes. the pupils. So Mr. we Warit. have uh, Ahmad Sakif from SK Slow Temiang Kuala Kerai, Kelantan. Hi, Ahmad Sakif. Hi, Ahmad Sakif. Oh, Ahmad okay, Sakif. Okay. So I... Next, we have Afi Ardani from SK Kiaramas Wilayah Persekutuan. Uh -uh. Hi, Afi. Yes, there you go. Wave it. Okay. And then we have Wei Chen from SJKC Kit Hua H Alusta Kedah. Hi, Wei Chen. And wave Hi, us. I'm Wei Chen. Hello. Yes, hello. And finally, we have Nur Kasih Sofia from SK Bendahara Sri Maharaja Melaka. Hi. Hi. Hello. Okay. And I believe, uh, of course, we have already known all our four pupils here online. And to all of you at home, you'll be very curious. What are we going to achieve together in our learning today? All right. In today's sessions, we are going to do two uh, learning standards, uh, 3.2.1 and 3.2.2, which is to understand the main idea uh, at, uh, of short, simple text and understand specific information and details of short, simple text. And we are going to achieve this by doing read and identify the main idea of the sentences and read and identify specific information in the sentences. All right, to begin our session today, Let's watch a video that I specially uh, created for everyone. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Let's watch it together. I sometimes speak Arabic. I never go to Misala again. And that was a lovely video, wasn't it? Thank yes. you for creating that special video, Mr. Warren. Okay. So now, okay, as you can see, there are some sentences 
that appears from the video. And they are, I sometimes feed the rabbit up until I sometimes go back from school on foot. But if you focus on the words itself, you will realize that there are words colored in red. Those words are sometimes, never, and always. But what are they actually? So always, sometimes, and never are what we call as adverbs of frequency. It shows how many times we do the activity. Okay? Right. To understand always, sometimes, and never, we can use a day scale. Ah, as you can see on the screen, this is what we call as a day scale. It contains the days of the week from Sunday until Saturday. Okay. So, what does it mean when someone says, I always brush my teeth in the morning? So, when someone says that, it means you, uh, that person do the activity from Sunday until Saturday. When someone says they sometimes play football after school, it means they only do three times out of the seven days. If someone says never, okay, Hanif, it means none of the days has been allocated for the activity. All right, so now if we put all the skills together, it will look like this, okay? So now let's go to our first activity or activity two, read and take, okay? Now let's go to the first one. I always go to the pub, all right? So I want you to take, okay? How many takes must be in the scale if we talk about I always go to the pub, okay? Everyone, mm. three, two, one. Show me the answer, please. Ah, raise your answers. Raise, can you raise the answers? Let's see. To your see. cameras All and right. we'll see. All right, when we talk about always go to the park. What do you think the answer should be? What do you think the answer be? should be? I yes. always go to the park as well, Mr. Wari. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And can you show us your answers? Can you show us Pupils? the answer? Ah, lovely. Oh, lovely. All right. Good. Oh, okay. So, I did Afi. Yes. Good. I did uh, Wei Chen. Yes. Good. Kase also got it correct and Sake also got it correct. Let's give our student a bell. Ooh. Woo! Well all done right. to all of you. Okay. So, this is the answer. Now, let's go to another activity. Okay. I sometimes go to the pub. How many ticks? must you give in the box? Okay, everyone. I sometimes go to the pub. How many ticks must be in the box? Mm. All right. Okay. Mm. I'm sure you all want more bells with your all correct right. answers. Shall we see? Shall I... we see the answers? Are your answers everyone? ready? Three, two, one. Show me the answer. Uh -huh. All right. So there are three ticks. Okay, three, three ticks. Okay, good. We can also see three, three ticks in Ahmad Sake. Yes. And also, three ticks from Adik Kase or four. Adik oh, Kase, Kase is four. four. It's fine, as long as it's not all. Okay, good. Well done. Now, let's go to the, the last one. Okay, all right. I never go to the park. Uh, I think this is easy, right, Adik? Mm. Right. How many ticks, I wonder? Okay, when we say, I never go to the park, how many ticks should you give into the box? <laughs> Can we see the answer now? Right away, oh, Mr. Warren. Oh, right away, yes, right away. Ah, Good. No. Well done, everyone. All right. I think our student did very well for this activity. All right. Back to you, Hanif. All right. So, well done to all of you. Now, I'm sure our pupils at home as well, now they're able to remember always, yes, sometimes, sometimes, and never. never. Isn't yes. that right, Mr. Yes, Wari? Yes, true. Yes, Hanif. Yes, yeah. that is true. And of course, we are always happy to be here, and Mr. Wari is always happy to be here to teach you Indeed. English. Indeed. But sometimes, Mr. Wari, we need to take a short break. Yeah. And so we're going to take a short break, so make sure you always stay with us on Didate TV KPM. KPM. You are back with us on d -Date TV KPM and right now we're on the level one slot and we are learning together English literacy and with me is Mr. Warit and in fact, Mr. Warit is not alone right now. Yes. Mr. Warit, what do you have mm. there in your hand? 
This is meow 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 Lulu. Oh, such a, and such Lulu a cute cat. Is my daughter's favorite pet, and she always play with Lulu every day. She always play with Lulu. Yes. What does it mean by always? Ah, if you want to know what it means, let's go to the whiteboard. All right. Okay. So all right. Let's start so, our lesson. All right. So when we talked about always, sometimes, and never. We can understand these words by using the day scale. When we talk about always, such as play with the Lulu, I always play with the Lulu. It means I play with Lulu on Sunday, I play with Lulu on Monday, I play with Lulu on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay? If I say I play with Lulu sometimes or I sometimes play with Lulu, it means I play on Sunday, maybe not on Monday, but maybe on Tuesday, maybe not on Wednesday, maybe on Thursday and not on the other days. So three out of the seven days. And if I say I never play with Lulu, it means none of these days are allocated to play with Lulu, okay? So I hope students at home as well as students on Google Meet would understand the different degree of using always, sometimes, and never. To see whether you understand or not, let's go to our next activity. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So what do we have right we now? We have complete the sentences. In this activity, I'm going to give you a table you need to read the table and complete the sentences with one of these words. Always, sometimes, or never. All right, let's look at the first example. Okay. For example, in this sentence, we have Shasha plays at the park. Now, let's look at the word play at the park. And we can see there are many ticks in the day scale from Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, up until Saturday. So we can be very confident to say that Shasha always plays at the park. Okay, let's go with another example. If we say she, Gap, has swimming lessons. Now let's look at swimming lessons. We have three ticks in the day scale. So we can be very confident that this is sometimes. So she sometimes has swimming lessons. And the last sentence, if we say she, Gap, goes to any piano lessons. Now let's look at piano lessons in the table. There is no tick on the day scale. So we say she never goes to any piano lessons. All right. Now, let's do this together. Okay. Now, students or pupils, I would like you okay, to have a look at the table and complete the sentences with one of the words, never, sometimes, or always. All right. Now, let's wait for our students to complete the task. All right. Yeah. And we have three different sentences there, Mr. Yes, Warid. we have three and different. And of course, in the table, you see words like skateboarding, cycling and driving, driving. Ah. first they need to find the clue that which is sentence and which information in the table that they need to look at ah, yes okay. and let's check with our pupils oh they all seem all right. ready with their answers all right okay now let's go with Wei Chen okay huh. Wei Chen can you solve the first sentence Eric dash or gap go skateboarding at the park what is the answer for this one Sometimes. Good. Well done, Wei Chen. Let's give him wow. a bell. Well Ooh. done, Wei Chen. All right. Now let's try with Kasi. Kasi. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the second sentence. Roy dash or gap cycles with his dad. What is the answer for this one? <clears throat> Sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes as well because of three takes in the day skill. Good. Wow. Well done, well Adikase. The bell for you, Adikase. All right. And let's call Sakif. Sakif, all right. Can you solve the last one, Sakif, for us? Hafiz, Gap, drive the car. Hmm. Hmm. 
And what is your answer, Takeh? And what is the answer, Takeh? Are we able to hear you? Is your mic on? Oops, I think your mic might be off. Yeah. But I think what Sakif wanted to say is, uh -huh. Hafiz never drives a car. Uh, is, that, uh, is that your answer, Takeh? Is that your, sa Can your you answer, Sakif? Can you uh, not? Uh, yes, good. Yeah. Well done. So Let's give him a bell as well. Yes, a bell as well. Well done, Sakif. Well, it happens, it happens. All right, now let's go to another example. Okay, another task. Baking, watching movies, and flying kites. Mm. Okay, right, we have the first sentence. Eric, Gab, flies kites at the park. Shasha, Gab, bakes cupcakes. And the last one, my mother and father, Gab, see movies together. Okay, ah. let's ask Ade Afi. Afi, what is the first answer for the first sentence? Eric Gap flies kites at the park. And always. Always. Uh, is it always? Sorry? How many takes can you see there? Never, never. 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 Good. Well done, Adit Afi. Well done. Yeah, so the first one is Eric never flies kites at the park because there's no takes in the table, right? Okay, let's true. go with the second one. Shasha, wait. In. Shasha. Always. Shasha always bakes cups cakes. Good. Well done. Let's well give done. Let's Richard? give him a bell. Okay, good. Well done. This is and the for last you. one. My mother and father. Okay. Adik Kase. Can you try to solve this? My mother and father. Sometimes. Sometimes see movies together. Ah. Why? Because there's only three ticks in the table. So the answer is definitely sometimes. Yes. So well done, everyone. Well done. Good job. All right. So before we go for our commercial breaks, I have I have a challenge for everyone. Okay. Ah. Now, can you see the jar of water on my table here? On our tables, to be yeah. honest. <laughs> Not my tables, definitely. So the challenge that I'm going to pose to you is that will I be able to change the colour of the water to a different colour by the end of this show? Hmm. Okay. So, if I do, what kinds of adverbs of, uh, adverbs of frequency are, we, uh, are the jar representing? Are the jars going to represent always? Are they going to represent sometimes? Or are, are they going to uh, represent never? Okay. So, I think if we would like to know this, Wait until the end of our episode. Uh -huh. All right. Are you going to do some magic here, yes, Mr. Wahid? Yes, definitely. I'm from Hogwarts as well. <laughs> <laughs> You're from Hogwarts, right. Yeah. Very interesting. So we'll see. I'm also very curious to have this magic unfold by Mr. Wahid. Yeah, mm. I'm very curious. And of course, we have more to share. So make sure you always stay with us. Never go anywhere because we have so much more to learn together. We're going to take a short break, all right? So stay tuned with us on D-Date TV KPM. back with us on d -Date TV KPM. I'm so excited because I love the sound of these bells. It gives me so much energy every day. Uh, that is the topic that we're learning together today on Level 1 slot for English Literacy. And with me is Mr. Warit. Mr. Warit, so you're doing some magic later because we're seeing a lot of the jars of water Waters. in front of yes, me. Yes, yes, I'm but, going to show them some magic after this. Uh -huh. But before we see the magic, I'll go through, let's go through it. one last activity with our students. Okay, All so right. pay full attention mm. because then Mr. White will show you the magic. magic. Okay. All right. For our last activity, okay, because today we've learned about always, we've learned about sometimes, we've learned about never. Now we're going to see whether we can apply those words in our daily life. All right. So in our activity four, you are going to be given two sentences and then you're going to decide which sentence that I do more. All right. For example, okay, in this activity, we have which activity do I do more? 
the sentence A, we have I always go to the park and sentence B is I sometimes go to the zoo. Okay? Focus on the adverbs of frequency. Focus on always and focus on sometimes. And then decide which activity that I do more. In this case, okay, I can say that I always go to the park. Why? Because always has more ticks than sometimes. Okay, based on the day scale that we've learned just now. All right. Now let's go to the second examples. Which activity do I do more? A. I never play football. And B. I sometimes play badminton. Okay. All right, everyone, write on the whiteboard. Okay, then show it to me. Uh, so, do we have your answers ready in right. three, two, one? One. Show so, us so the answer. Wei Chen has B, which Wei is Chen sometimes B, play badminton. Sometimes, okay. Afi, right. Afi also, also has have B, B, and Sakif also has B, B, and Kase. What about Kase? And what is your answer? Oh, oh, oh Kase also. A, okay, Kase also B. It's a reverse yeah. B, but it's a B. It's okay. Good job. But the most important thing is Hanif. All of them got it. Correct. Okay, let's give them a bell. Okay. Well done. So this shows that our students are capable of understanding the role of uh, never, sometimes, and always in sentences. And I have to say, based on the ex this experience, as well as based on what we have done previously, our students have achieved the lesson objective for today. All right? And if you want to get access to the materials that we use today, don't forget to access to Sumbaku portal by the Ministry of Education. It will be there for you to use the materials. Well. Exactly. exactly. And soon you're going to have the link on your screen and go to that link. There you go. There it is. So go to that link so that you can find out more about what we have learned today. And what's important, Mr. Warit, is how did our pupils perform today? All right. For today, I have to say, all our students did very well and excellent in our today's lesson. So, and if join me, let's give them a bell together. A huge right. round of bells for all yes, of you. For you. Okay. So now, are you guys excited to see what's going to happen to the uh, to the jars that we have here on the table? Ta-da! Now, for that reasons, um, let me ask um, Kase. Hi, Kase. Are you there, Kase? Kase? Hi. Hi. What is your favorite color, Kase? My favorite color is blue. Blue. Oh, oh okay. That's a good choice. Now let's see whether I can change the, the color of the water in this jar into blue. Oh, all right. Well, we have to oh. hold on just for a okay. second, Mr. Warren. Yeah. Because we're going to just reveal it a bit later. But ah, before ah, that, ah. of course, I would have to thank. Mr. Warriot, for this very exciting lesson that we have today. And of course, we're very excited for the magic soon, okay? And of course, Mr. Warriot bin Mihat, which is Ketua Panitia Bahasa Inggeris from Sekolah Kebangsaan Kubang Kerian Tiga, Kota Baru, Kelantan. Thank you so much, Mr. Warriot, you, for your time for today. Thank you, as well. Yeah. Yes, and definitely thank you to our four peoples online. And who are they? We have Wei Chen, we have Kase, we have um, Takif, also Afi. Can you just wave us a bit? Wave at everyone. There you go. Very beautiful. You are always waving right there. Okay. And of course, my name is Hanif Sean. We really appreciate your time spending with us today. And remember, if you want to learn more, go to Sumbaku. And right now, Mr. Warit will be revealing the little magic. So stay tuned and thank you, everyone. Bye. So is it sometimes, never or always? Now, let's see. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, two colors. Ooh, okay. ooh, ooh. Ooh, right, another two. Okay. Oh, blue it's, as well. It's no longer never. It could be sometimes, but mm. it could be always as well. But ah. let's see whether we can change the others or the rest. Oh, ooh. it's changing. Oh, it's changing. And the last one. All right. Wow. wow. So all the colors, all the water in the jars change colors. So we can say this is an example of. Always. Oh, very All right. nice. The colour nice. of the water change or always change its colour. All right. So we have seven jars and yes. all seven, seven jars. Yes. Water change from clear to, to blue. blue. All right. Bye bye.